Chronic traumatic encephalopathy is a progressive degenerative disease that is found in people who receive repetitive head injuries and or blows to the head. CTE is commonly found in professional athletes participating in sports such as American football, rugby, boxing, ice hockey, bull riding, stunt performing, and soccer. Ice high school athletes can present with this condition if they have participated in the sport for over many years. One preventative measure is to immobilize the head when sustaining impact. Studies have shown that when the head is immobilized during a blast or when sustaining impact, it prevents the learning and cognitive loss that is associated with CTE when the head is not immobilized. Right now, CTE can only be diagnosed after the person has died. To diagnose CTE, a person has to take a brain tissue sample and examine the sample under the microscope and look for structural damages. Tau is a critical brain protein that helps stabilize and support certain structures within brain cells, including the cell's internal transportation system. Repeated injury can cause tau to misfold and change its shape. The misfolded tau releases into the cell, setting off a chain reaction that causes it to clump together. The clumps slowly kill neurons and spread to the nearby cells, and then entangle with blood vessels in the brain. There are four stages of symptoms. The first stage is deterioration, dizziness, and headaches. These are what will appear if somebody receives a concussion. Once deterioration has progressed further, these symptoms will appear. Memory loss, confusion, impaired judgment, paranoia, impulse, control problems, aggression, depression, and eventually progressive dementia. Symptoms can begin to appear months, years, or even decades after the trauma has ended around the age of 40 or 50.